this video, we're going to take readings from gas migration probes using the GEMS GA mode. You should have already calibrated your GEM in the field with a 1515 calibration gas. You should also make sure that you used data field to load your probe IDs and set your time and date. Your battery should be charged. With normal pump use, a fully charged battery will last about 8 hours. You should have enough free memory to store your readings and your hoses and filters should be clean and clear. Your readings will be taken with the sample port, which is the top port on the right side. Using the hose set included with your GEM 2000, connect the clear hose to the sample port. Make sure the water trap is closer to the instrument than to the probe. Now turn on the instrument and wait for the self-test to complete. Once you're looking at the gas level screen, look down here. If you see 5 measure flow, then you're in GEM mode. In this case, press 1 to open the menu, then use the arrow keys to select mode of operation. Pressing the up arrow key will get you there faster. Press enter, select landfill gas analyzer, and press enter again. If you uploaded site questions to this GEM, you can answer them now by pressing 1 to bring up the menu again and selecting update site data. Now you're ready for your first probe. Press Option 3, Next ID, and select the probe's ID from the list. If you like, you can view the details of this probe by pressing 3 again. Your jam is going to purge any gases left over from the previous sample. Make sure your tubes aren't blocked and press Enter to start the purge. The purge will run for a predetermined period. Allow it to run for the full time. The next step is to zero your transducers. Press 1 to bring up the menu. Zero transducers is already selected, so just press enter again. On the zero relative pressure transducer screen, watch the number inside the rectangle. When it is stabilized, press enter. You should see the message transducer zeroed. Now attach the free end of the clear hose to the sample port on the probe. The gas pressure will automatically be read, so watch the numbers here until they're stable. When they are, press the pump button that's the button with a fan on it, to start sampling the gas. When the pump starts, the pressure readings you see here will be stored. Watch the gas compositions on the left side of the screen until they stabilize. While the pump is running, be sure to watch the clear tube between the water trap housing and the gem. Moisture can damage the gem if it's allowed to get past the water trap, so if you see moisture collecting there, stop the pump immediately. Then, replace the water trap filter and tubing. Contact customer service at CES Landtech if you have any questions. The pump will run for its pre-programmed time or until you press the pump button. When the pump is stopped, press enter to store the reading. If you uploaded any questions for this probe, you'll be prompted for the answers now. Once you're done with the questions and comments, you'll see the message, Reading Stored. Now you're ready to move on to the next probe.